Viral 2200 the 12th of July 2017 updated 2201 the 12th of July 2017 get shorter every December 7th since 1941 Americans have recognized the anniversary of the attack on the US Navy base in Pearl Harbor Hawaii by Imperial Japan perhaps less likely to be remembered is the time the president screwed up a tweet marking the anniversary National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day, a day that will live in infamy December 7, 1941 U.S. President Donald Trump tweeted Thursday morning. Seems fine, ordinary boilerplate for a national day of remembrance. National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day, a day that will live in infamy. December 7, 1941, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump December 7, 2017 The only issue is that the tweet slightly misquotes the iconic line from Thena's President Franklin D. Roosevelt. On December 8, 1941, FDR addressed the nation and referred to the previous day as a date which will live in infamy. In fairness to the president, his mistake is a pretty common one. The day must quote, produces 1.15 million results in a Google search, compared to 690,000 for the correct quotation. However, FDR intentionally emphasized the date in his speech to suggest the historic significance of the event. Donald Trump WASNT the only member of his family to miss tweet. His wife Melania fired off a tweet of her own today we honor Pearl Harbor heroes. 1,171,941 thank you to all military for your courage and sacrifice so yeah, she got the date wrong. The first lady fixed her tweet then deleted it entirely. This probably ISNT the biggest news story of the day. Would that, it were, alas. But it is emblematic of an administration that cannot seem to get on top of the details of governance. The Trump administration has neglected to book hotel rooms for its delegation, and to follow proper procedures for requesting audiences with world figures. They've misspelled names of global leaders in press releases or assigned them to the wrong country, and casually tweeted falsehoods or, perhaps, admissions of obstruction of justice. None of these are impeachable offenses, but each would be enough to get a copy editor fired.